Hi, my name is Clay. I'm so glad you could watch online with us today. Let's go see what our friends at Connect HQ want to show us today. We're gonna dance, we're gonna sing, we're gonna get real loud, let our voices ring, we're gonna party, we're having fun, with Jesus Christ, he's God's only son, now everybody, from the front to the back, put your hands in the air, and clap, 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 seeing old friends, making new friends, here with Jesus, we're connected. Believe it or not, I'm not the best singer or dancer in the world. Maybe you are, or maybe you're not either. But guess what? We can still worship God with our singing and dancing. Worship isn't about how good we are, it's about how good God is. And I know that God loves it whenever we connect to Him together at church. So sing loud and dance for Him with all you've got. Let's get up on our feet and let's connect with God together. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'd fall But you have never failed me yet Waiting for change to come Knowing the battle's won For you have never failed me yet Your promise still stands Great is your faithfulness Faithfulness I'm still in your hands This is my confidence You've never failed me yet Ooh, yeah. I know the night won't last your word will come to pass My heart will sing your praise again Yes it will oh, oh, oh. Jesus is still enough Keep me within your love My heart will sing your praise again promise still stands great is your faithfulness faithfulness i'm still in your hands this is my confidence you've never failed your promise still stands great is your faithfulness faithfulness i'm still in your
fight is on I'll hold my ground I'm gonna crash the lies of the enemy I won't back down Cause I'm not alone With you my God There, my latest invention is done. Neat. Uh, do you know what I've built here? Yeah, it's a radio. Neat. <laughs> a radio? This is not a radio. This is an electronic waveform receiver. Oh, neat radio. Uh, this is not a radio. Sure looks like a radio. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something, okay? All around us there are just these waves moving throughout the air. We can't see them, but they are everywhere. My device translates these waves into something that the human ear can hear. Edison, you've literally just described how a radio works. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> well, does the radio do this when it turns on? I hey, I love that song! Turn that radio up! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links. Make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the time we took a close look at something we couldn't see. Harper, Edison, come see what just came in from our field office in Los Angeles. Hello, Connect HQ. I'm Field Officer Kendra, and this is Abe, coming to you from Los Angeles, known as the City of Angels. <sighs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Connect HQ, this brings us to Abe's problem. 
why don't you tell them in your own words? Hi, Connect HQ. Even though I'm a follower of Jesus, I'm confused about angels. What are they? Are they people who have died? Are we supposed to pray to them? My aunt says that we are constantly entertaining angels without even knowing it. It's just creepy. Can you set the record straight for us on angels? Help Abe rest a little easier. Thanks, Connect HQ. Wow, we've got to help Abe learn the truth about angels. I think first, Oh, first I gotta find Harper and Edison. Oh, hey Edison. What are you working on? <laughs> Rodney, you're just in time to see my latest invention. So today's field office message mentioned how we entertain angels without even realizing it. I thought, what if we could realize it? So I invented the Angelectus Entertainium. Ta-da! <laughs> awesome, what does it do? Uh, it detects the angels in the area, and if they applaud or laugh, this sensor goes off. Cool. Now we just need to figure out what angels like. Maybe music? Do you sing? Do I sing? Back in my day, they called me the baritone bard. <clears throat> la, 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 la. Okay, so you don't sing. Uh, what else could we try? There you are, Harper. Yeah, here I am. I thought you could help me with Abe's angel problem. Do I have to? Can I sit this one out? What's the matter, Harper? You're not afraid like Abe is, are you? No. Even though we can't see angels, there's nothing to be afraid of. Angels were made by God. They serve God. They live to worship God. You know, I think I should go help Chevy Lane rearrange your spices. Harper, when I choose to follow Jesus, I've got God's angels on my side, so there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid of angels. I just don't believe in them, okay? Is this your card? No, still nothing on the angel like this entertainium. Is this your card? Seems angels aren't entertained by terrible magic. Uh, what about comedy? Oh, I'm pretty famous for my killer knock-knock jokes. Famous with whom? Knock-knock. Uh, who's there? Goliath. Goliath who? Goliath down. You look tired. Uh, uh, <laughs> no? No? Okay, okay, okay. Knock-knock. <clears throat> who's there? Heaven. Heaven who? Haven't seen you in a while. Open the door and come on in. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Gotta pull out the big guns. <clears throat> knock, knock. That's it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. <laughs> Seems angels aren't entertained by terrible comedy either. Uh, can you dance? Hey Harper, can we talk? You're gonna try and convince me that angels are real. You're right, I am. <sighs> Look, I know it can be hard to understand things that we can't see, but we can know for sure that angels are real because the Bible tells us so. But when I see pictures of angels on greeting cards or on bumper stickers, it just sounds so ridiculous. Them up there, sitting on clouds all day, strumming their harps, polishing their halos. It just sounds so silly. You're right, it does sound silly. And you know what? Not one of those things is in the Bible. They're not? No, there's not one harp playing angel in the Bible. They're also not people who have died. We don't really know what angels look like, even though they're all around us. We don't normally see them, but when God tells them to appear to us, they can. And another thing. Oh, 
Nothing yet. What was that? I'm pretty sure I don't want to know. So, now that I know what angels aren't, what do we know about them? Well, angels are spiritual beings. They obey God, and they only do what He says. What kind of things does God have angels do? Sometimes they're warriors. They fight for good when evil attacks. Sometimes they're messengers. Like the angel who told Mary she would be the mother of Jesus? Exactly! As followers of Jesus, we know God's angels are there for our good. It says so in the Bible. Here, say this verse with me from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 14. Hebrews 1, 14. Hebrews 1, 14. All angels are spirits who serve. All angels are spirits who serve. God sends them to serve. God sends them to serve. Those who will receive salvation. Those who will receive salvation. Great job! That's pretty neat to know that not only is God on our side, but so are his angels. That's what we should tell Abe in Los Angeles. As followers of Jesus, we don't need to be afraid of angels. I'm gonna go see what else the Bible has to say about God's angels. Great idea. I've got something else I wanna see. It looks like a hairdryer. I, I assure you it's Angel Ectus Entertainium. Which does what exactly? It measures angels' claps and laughter. Why would you want to? Uh, the, the Bible tells us we entertain angels without even realizing it. I wanted to know what entertains them the most. They don't like much from what I can tell. That's not what the Bible means by entertaining angels. It just means that sometimes angels are among us and we don't realize it. Well, at least we were entertained. I mean, it's not completely useless. It also dries wet hair. Hmm. It seems that just about everyone around here has had some misconceptions about angels that need to be cleared up. I mean, how are we supposed to know what angels are like when we can't even see them? Well, some people have actually seen angels, Edison. Let me show you. I found this great Bible link about Elisha and the angels that God sent to help him. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. A long time ago, the king of Aram chose a spot for the Israelites to fall into his trap. The ambush was a secret. The Israelites couldn't find it on a map. A holy man learned of the king of Aram's plot. I must tell my king, he quickly thought. This man was no ordinary Israelite. His name was Elisha the prophet. His gift was very special. Not even kings could top it. Elisha was a messenger of God and could tell others what God said. He could even warn leaders before evil plans had a chance to spread. Elisha told the king of Israel, Watch out! King Aram has set up a trap for your army in this place. It's an ambush you do not want to face. The king of Israel warned his army not to visit that place. But the king of Aram found out and was furious. How could the Israelites find out? King Aram was very curious. The king of Aram called his officers and asked, Which one of you gave our secret away to the king of Israel? Tell me fast. Sir, Elisha was the one who told of our secret plan. He must not be any ordinary man. The king of Aram sent horses and chariots to surround Elisha's town. He planned to stage a violent showdown. Elisha's servant saw the horses and chariots and was worried. But Elisha replied in a hurry. Don't worry, there's no need to hide. We have God's angels on our side. And because God loves and favors us so, we can be confident we are safe. This I know, God, 
open my servant's eyes and let him see so he knows that he's safe with God and believes me. The scene was incredible. The servant was amazed. God's protection was visible. The servant knew to give God praise. The servant's eyes were open to see God's actions. When the Arameans eventually attacked, Elisha prayed with passion. God, make the Arameans blind so that all they see is darkness before their eyes. The entire Armean army was blinded by God's power. They followed Elisha straight to the king of Israel in a matter of hours. As they entered the city, Elisha prayed from afar. God, open their eyes so that they see where they are. The king of Israel wanted to defeat the Armean army, but Elisha had other plans. Send the army back to their king and get ready to prepare them a feast. They've done enough for today and should be released. Because of God's power and protection, the Arameans didn't bother Israel anymore. Remember, no matter what happens, God is fighting our battles in the midst of any war. So sometimes God does let people see His angels. Though most of the time we can't see them. Either way, I don't think you're going to be able to detect them with a hairdryer. Whether or not we ever see them, we can know they are real, and we can be confident knowing that. When I choose to follow Jesus, I've got God's angels on my side. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, we just got a message from Connect HQ. Hopefully they have some answers for you about angels. Sorry, uh, I mean, angels. Hi, I'm Harper. Thanks for your question about angels. First, I want to let you know that for people who follow Jesus, God's angels are nothing to be afraid of. They're on our side. It says so in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 14. Hebrews 1, 14. All angels are spirits who serve. God sends them to serve those who will receive salvation. Angels are God's servants. They aren't people who died and became angels. They're spiritual beings created by God. We are supposed to only pray to God, not to beings He has made. Angels live to serve God. They serve Him by worshiping Him, by protecting people, and by being His messengers. And sometimes, they are even warriors for God. When the Aramean army came against Elisha and the people of Israel, God sent an unseen army of angels all around to protect them. Elisha's servant was afraid but Elisha prayed that God would open his eyes to see the army of angels surrounding them. Soon, he was able to see the hillside filled with horses and chariots of fire. Most of us haven't gotten to see an angel that we know of, and so there are a lot of myths about them. The things I thought about angels, that they sit on clouds all day and play harps, made me think that angels weren't real. But when we get past the myths and know the truth about angels, we don't have to doubt or be afraid. The truth is, God's angels serve Him and do what He commands. When I choose to follow Jesus, I've got God's angels on my side. Thanks for your questions, Abe. And I hope you're not afraid of angels anymore, knowing that we're all on the same team, God's team. Remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, HQ, for helping me learn a lot more about angels. No, wait, I mean angels. I'm glad I have God's angels on my side. Friends, I'm so glad you got to watch Faith Kids with us today. Remember to tell your parents what the video was about and have them find our Faith Kids Facebook group. Have a great week.